Hello, I'm David Hutnick and I'm also known as Rogue Rooster. And today I want to talk to you about the Tiny Hawk and setting up um, my PIDs and rates. This is not for beginners. Uh, beginners, I would say stick with the stock settings and until you know what to do or watch enough videos to understand how to uh, change your drones, uh, tunes and so forth. This is for more intermediate and advanced pilots. Um, so what I did was is I uh, modified the Mockingbird PIDs. Uh, I've been messing with those. I started with the recommended uh, Mockingbird PIDs and started tuning those from there. Um, I'll show you how to set up aux switches. So when you're in angle mode, it's one rate. And then when you go into acro, it'll be another rate and how to set those switches up in beta flight. I'll show you all my PIDs, um, all the CLI commands and how to do those. Um, and any of the extra features that I have. Um, other than that, let's get started. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to come in here. You got your selection, you go to page, 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 curves. You're gonna select a curve. You're gonna make a curve. So you come over here, you select this and come down here. I have it at 17 points. I bring it down to six points. I select smoothing. This should be at negative zero or negative 100, I should say. I move this one to negative 25. The next one is at zero. The next one is at 51, then 94, and then 100. After I have those ones set like that, I come back here to 16 points and I crank it all the way up to 17. Once you're at 17 points, you're good. So now you'll have a nice, good, sharp curve. It's a little ex uh, extreme here, but this is where it gets dolled out in beta flight to kind of bring it in here so it kind of dips a little bit, and that'll allow you to give you this kind of nice feel where you can kind of you know, pump your throttle without it um, jamming too fast in one direction. It gives you a little more control, and it'll help you out. After that, you'll exit back out. You want to hold page and go back. Hold page and go back. And you want to make sure in your mixer... You have it set to throttle curve one. So when you're in there, you can go into edit and you come down here and you see curve, set it to custom CV1, that's custom curve one. And you'll wanna do that also in your inputs on the throttle. So you go into edit and you come down here and you can see it says custom and curve one. Once you have those, you got your curve in there and now you'll have a throttle curve. That will move your hover point from 50% down to about right about there about 25 percent so it feels more closer to a real quad so when you jam this throttle up it feels like you're really kind of punching it because it's a shorter throw is what i've created all right here we go so connect your drone we're going to go in here and i'm going to show everybody how i set this up and it should be pretty straightforward first thing you're going to want to do is go into your ports and make sure that you have your UART1 on Serial RX and your TBS Smart Audio is set up on UART2. Make sure those are set right. Then configurations, I have DSHOT 600 with motor idle value percent at 8. Should be the same or stock. 8K, 8K. I have 180 for my max arm angle. Uh, S bus, obviously. And then down here, I have telemetry on. OSD, anti-gravity, and dynamic filter. Air mode is not permanently enabled. I have that set up on a switch for when I am only in acro, so that way when I'm in angle mode, it's not on causing issues. Um, once you have all that, I only use the D-Shot beacon configuration, RX loss and RX set, um, and that's just basically to use your D your motors as a and ESCs as a beeper because I'm not going to install one because that adds a little bit more weight, which hinders from performance. Uh, next step is the power and battery. I drop my minimum cell voltage to 3.1 and I drop my warning cell voltage to 3.2 because I run my batteries down to 3.0. Uh, take it or leave it. PID tuning. Um, okay, so this is where I have all the PIDs are the same, but my rates are different based on acro and angle. So the PIDs that I use um, that I have been uh, working on used uh, Mockingbird basically as my base and then kind of been tweaking back and forth. Um, but as it stands now, I have a really good set uh, setup for it. So if you're looking for a little more locked-in feel, try these out and see if they help. 
Um, I have P at 100, Pitch at 100, and Yaw at 95 for P. Uh, for I, I have Roll at 120, Pitch at 120, Yaw at 90. For D, I have Roll at 95, Pitch at 90, and Yaw at 0. Feed forward is a big part of this. So I have Roll and Pitch at 190 and Yaw at 170. So try those out. I set angle at 65 on strength, horizons at 35 and 100, I think that's stock still. Uh, angle limit, crank this bad boy up to 110 and you're gonna be happy about that. Uh, the next part is the throttle mid and throttle expo. I wanted to talk about that real quick. Uh, we set up that curve. So setting your throttle mid here at 50 and throttle expo at 60% will really help that extra boost in your throttle response having that little shorter throw but this will doll it out a little bit so you don't have that like I said hypersensitive kind of feel on the pig controller settings I set feed forward transition at 0 0.50 throttle boost as at 20 try that out it'll help I term rotation on D bat pid compensation on I term relax for roll pitch and yaw and gyro those are all turned on v bat compensation that helps for when you have the battery sag at the end of your battery to get the performance still by adjust uh, your flight controller adjusts those pid rates um, to give you a little bit more response at the end of your battery uh, anti-gravity is on smooth 6.5 and tpa another little hidden trick put this at 0.65 percent and at 1830 it'll give you a little more kick in the boost um, on the receiver side, I set uh, RSSI channel on 5, that's for the RSSI. Uh, stick low, I put on 1010 and high on 2000. I set an RC dead band and yaw dead band of 2, and that's just based on my controller. Um, but that's kind of also dull out a little bit in the middle. Uh, modes. I have arm set up on a single switch. I have angle mode set up first, right off the bat. And that basically... Um, is just a personal preference so you guys can set it up on angle mode first or acro mode first or whatever it's however you prefer um, but the way I have it set up is that um, in angle mode is my first startup on first switch of auxiliary 3 that will only have uh, uh, no air mode on it but when I go into the middle position it'll put it in acro which also does enable the air mode so that's how I have that set up um, yeah, pretty much straightforward on that part. So the other trick I was going to show you guys is if you go to expert mode here, come down to adjustments, you can enable uh, your rate profile to change. So in rate profile one, you have uh, your angle mode rates, and then in two, it'll set your rate profile to slot two, which will be your acro if you have it like mine, and then three for horizon. And the way you do that is you click these enable buttons here. You want to do three of them if you want three modes. Um, you enable that, you set the spot for where you're going to have the switch go. You know, this first one will be my auxiliary. Okay, so um, to cut and edit here, basically once these three switches are set up, you should be seeing these three move. So the first set is auxiliary three. If that's the channel that you have your switch on, it could be auxiliary two based on what your switch is set up. Then you need to have rate profile selected for all three of these. So, and you're gonna have to create these little bars to matches because each one will start out right in the beginning like this here and you'll move them to each one and then change each one of these to slot one, two, slot three, and then set this last bars uh, via ex via channels to the same thing that your actual channel is on. So minus three, it would be three on both insides. And when you move this, it'll change it. <coughs> Once you do that and you hit save and that looks all right, then you're going to want to go into uh, your back into your PID tuning. And this is how you know it worked: is that you can flip into your different uh, modes and you'll see the rate profile changes. So if that works, you got it. So now I'll show you my rates for angle mode first then acro and then the horizon uh, so for the first rate i have angle mode roll and pitch is at 1.40 yaw is at 2.0 super rate is at 0.50 pitch is at 0.20 and yaw is at 0.10 with a 0.80 percent expo and 0.25 percent yaw expo and that gives me the feel i want for angle mode I flip it to rate profile two. This is not angle, I'm sorry, acro. I have it 1.0 and 1.0 for roll, pitch, and yaw, 0.80 and 0.80 for roll and pitch, and 0.70 
on super rate for yaw, and that's super rate there. And then I have an expo of 0.10 for roll and pitch, and an expo of 0.15 on yaw. Um, and that's basically your setups. And then if I flip it to rate profile three, this is actually on the FPV camera mix. Um, and that was just because I wanted to play around with that. That's what my rates are. You can see them there if you want to try them out by all means and let me know how they work, like them or not. I haven't really messed with it. Um, so other than that, um, you know, that's basically the rates that I recommend. Uh, the other thing you guys need to do is go into CLI and type get PID sum. Oh, get PID sum, one word. And that will show you these two things here, PID sum limit and PID sum limit yaw. And the defaults are 500 up here and 400 on the yaw one. And what you're gonna need to do is type set, space, and then copy and paste these two things one at a time, copy that and paste it down here and type in a thousand and then hit save for each one, or enter them for each one. So set PID sum limit yaw 1000, set PID sum limit one equals 1000 save those in there so make sure you end up entering it works and then type save and the other thing you want to put in there is type get air mode and this air mode start throttle percent you want to make that say 15 so you'll set type down here set air mode start throttle percent equals 15 instead of 32 and that'll help the wobbles on acro mode when you're taking off and landing from getting those wobbles because of the air mode um, after you've got all that done make sure Again, you hit save and it backs out and saves it. Um, other than that, guys, it's pretty much straightforward. If you have any other questions, let me know. Okay, well, and that's about it. Um, the only other things I can recommend are, you know, making sure that you get everything set. You gotta have uh, the, ex or not the expo, but the uh, throttle curve in your remote. So that way the expo and beta flight will match up in those. Um, and you can play with those. You can push them a little up or down, but whatever works best for you guys. Uh, you know, um, again, uh, four bladed props from the racer stars are what I'm using. Um, there may be a little bit of a tune difference, but I haven't noticed. It feels like they're locked in no matter what props I've put on there for the most part with this rates and profiles. So if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Um, if you need any more information, please let me know. I'm glad to help. Um, hopefully, um, you guys are loving your tiny hawks. Um, I know I am. The thing lock, feels locked in. Um, just unfortunately, the weather here in Washington is rainy and snow is coming. So hopefully, maybe some tiny hawk snow adventures. Um, other than that, peace out.